guys, welcome to Herding Little Cows to the Glory of God. If you've been around before, you've seen this room, but we don't use it very often. And we are trying to make it into more of a homeschool room. Not that we need our own little homeschool room, but we have the space available and we're trying to make it useful. Okay, mild modification to this room. We're gonna have this bed still in here, but it's gonna be turned the other direction. Yeah. Cabinets obviously staying. Those might stay there, we might add something there. And uh, that's gotta go, this is gonna move, that's gotta move, because this is gonna be a desk area for the little people for like crafts and stuff like that. So we'll see what that looks like at the end of the day. Okay, we've moved some stuff out. We picked up the rug, cleaned up the floor, moved the bed. Now Malachi is helping us put the floor in together. Malachi and Abigail and Uriah are doing floor in duty while Josiah is sweeping out there. Good job, guys. Everybody working together. Yeah, I like sweeping. Good. It's a good job to do. Yeah, this is fun. No, that's a little... Uh, we'll cut the pieces. Abigail helped me measure out and screw on these leg braces that joins the two boards together, because this is two boards. We all got a bunch of sanding to do, but we're going to put some legs on, and Uriah's going to help. Legs in from the inside and the other side, and then these ones we did on the end. And this young man... <laughs> Did all the holding and making sure everything was at 90 degrees. Good job, Bob. So now we've moved the bookshelf, the library bookshelf here, and we have the desk for two, and the bed over here, and then we're gonna put some more stuff back in there, the blankets. So today, Mark, with help from different people, made a little desk area for us. These chairs we've had for a long time, and they, if you watched our old videos, they were, they were on our old videos. They actually were in a school in this area that from like the 40s, 50s, 60s, somewhere in there. Our neighbor gave it to us. Sorry, the stand up. This guy's a little grumpy. Um, so shout out to our daughter and her husband and their channel. This blessed life or blessed life. I don't know which way they're saying it. I'm saying blessed. I don't care. Blessed. This saying. blessed life. They started a YouTube channel. She has a couple of videos, but they are the ones who gave us the cow blanket and pillows. So when we went down to see them, this is how they decorated our room. And then they let us bring them home. So we have a bed here so we can sit and do our school and read books and all of that. Not that we're always going to do that out here. Just this is a good place in the winter to get the extra sun and to not get the, um, I don't know, seasonal depression that you get from not seeing sunlight. So hopefully this will be a good place to do that. We moved our bookshelf out here that has all our library books in it. So the kids can easily come out and read. We did the desk. I picked up some bins that we can put their schoolwork in. Told you we're doing something new for school. I'm not gonna tell you what it was, but this is Malachi's Cardinal. And then he wrote Cardinal on the back. His letters are still backward sometimes. And this was Josiah's. He has a gun and a definition and the word gun. But this is so they can each have their own separate place to put their works in progress. So more on that project sometime later. More on that project later. Um, this is a cupboard that I got from my grandma, Nice Wonder. And so I love using it because um, it just reminds me of her. But this is where we keep, it was in the living room. We've been on any of our things. This is where we keep our pens, pencils, all of that. Kind of needs to get organized again. But we put our paper out here too so that they can do their crafting and things out here. And then this big cupboard over here, I don't even want to show you inside because it's kind of scary. But that's where we have a little bunch of craft stuff. <laughs> and the kids like to use that. And so it looks messy and that's why we closed the doors and that's okay to do. But the room looks clean. Yes, so, the room looks nice. The room looks nice. Oh, and they're gonna have their Legos out here. So also now because we have a baby in the house and he can easily get into things, um, we have told the kids that they can use the we have marbles, we have Legos, little pieces of things can be used out here because there's a um, track here. This is a sliding door. And so the track will keep things like if they were to drop the marbles, they'll all stay out here. And that way that is baby proofed for the baby to be able to be on the floor down there, out there. And then they can use those small things in here and the baby's not gonna be on the floor in this room. He'll be out here in arms if he wants to be in arms, Ooh. or we'll go in the other room and play. This guy's just not feeling great. Mm. Um, but we can play out here. Um, and then when we go into the other room, they are making noise. So we will not, we'll show you a quick what we're doing, and I will do a little voiceover of this next little part. So it's okay, we can just deal with it. Oh, we'll deal with it. Okay, we're just gonna do it. They're just having fun. You guys have fun, do your fun stuff. Okay. 
So this part of the room is still the same, but we move this cabinet over here. They're okay, they can walk. This cabinet over here was out on the porch, and so now this is extra seating in here because we moved the bookcase. It's got some clothes in it, which we're not using this time of year. And then over here, you guys are good. Keep playing with Grandma. Over here, we hung up our bulletin board, which we've just been pulling out from the wall to be able to use. But we hung that up here, and this was where that other cabinet was that we just moved out. So that's now out there. And we moved our blankets back in here because it's the type of time of year that chickadee. Chickadee. We have our birdie feeders. It's the time of year where it's cold. We keep our heat fairly low, so we keep blankets in the living room, and then people can use blankets if they want to snuggle up during Bible time or whatever. But I'm hoping to be able to clean the mess off the desk. <laughs> All our school stuff is going to stay here in this room um and we will take it to wherever we're going to use it but the crafting which is why there's usually a mess on the desk is going to go out there so oh someone's coming to take a sister so today is the day after my birthday if you watch that birthday video i did get my cake naomi made me chocolate cake um chocolate oatmeal cake with chocolate frosting so we just had that so i hope i don't have any on my face because i came right from the eating to do that and they're playing with grandma because grandma had the day so now it's your turn. off today. And then they're going to go hear grandma play her cello because grandma plays the cello and it's awesome. So they're going to go down to her house and listen to it. We're going to play with jello. <laughs> it's, it's hard to finger the jello and yes. bow the jello. <laughs> So anyway, and we have to finish the Wild Robot book today because we have 30 pages left and it's getting intense. We need to know what happens. Does Roz get away? I don't know. Okay, so we'll see you guys next time on Hurting Little Cows to the Glory of God. Bye.